Okay, hello. Um, today I'm going to show you how to, um, with your sprites, how to get them to stop moving when they hit like a wall or, or whatever you want, like, you know, like a um, an object or something. So we're first going to start by putting in the scripts for the cat to move. So we're going to say when the green flag is clicked, um, put in the forever loop, and then go to if, put in an if statement. And say it's sensing key up arrow. Okay, so if key up arrow press, then what we're gonna do for now, what we're gonna do is inside this if statement, we're gonna put another if statement in. And in this if statement, we're gonna go to operators and put in not. And then go to sensing, go to touching colour. Okay. For the moment, we haven't got a maze or anything. Uh, to show you, I'll, I'll, I'll just edit this and put in some uh, brown lines or something. Okay. Um, a handy tool in the paint is that if you hold down shift, you can just um, draw straight lines like that. Instead of if you let go, it goes like that. If you just want a straight line and you can do it vertically as well it's quite a handy tool so I'll just put a few lines around um, yeah okay and I'm just gonna shrink down the sprite so you can fit through like this gap here okay um, just see if you can oh a bit too big Sorry, I'll make it slightly smaller. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, so let's go back on the sprite. Okay, so if not touching color, we'll set it to brown. Um, we're going to for the up arrow change his Y position. So you go to change Y by um, it's up to you. Uh, this kind of determines his speed. Ten will be really fast. I would put it something like three or two or something. That's that's a good speed. Um, that's what I normally use. Uh, so, it, but it's entirely up to you. Okay. Uh, then what I would do is just duplicate this, take this out, and just put in touching the brown color. Get rid of that, and then just say minus three. Now, what that's saying basically is when he goes up. If he's not touching the brown colour, then fine, go on. But if he is, then make him go back down. Say say he was, like, um, here, and then you moved him up and he was touching that, he'd then immediately go back down. Um, it makes him go a bit juddery, but it stops him from um, actually touching this. So it keeps him from down, touching the wall. Yeah, and... I can't really show you what that means, uh, what that will look like, because um, it will just go up there. Um, but I'll, I'll just duplicate this and do it for the down. Um, so you just got to change that to down, and then just reverse the values. Um, so minus three and then three for if touching the brown colour. Okay, and then you're going to want to duplicate this. This time, put left arrow or right arrow. Um, instead of change Y, we're going to use X because that's like that, that way. Um, just drag those off and change X by three. If it's positive, he's going to go that way. Um, and change X by minus three. And then we'll just reverse that for the left. Um, I know this seems complicated, but it's worth it because it makes a good game with it. Uh, left arrow and reverse the values. Okay, so that should work now. So he can move about the arrow keys. Now, if he goes to a wall, he does go juddery, but it stops him. From actually hitting 
um, stops him from going through the wall. So that is a base script um, in Scratch. Um, obviously you can improve this game. Uh, it's not even really a game yet. Uh, I mean, you could make a maze game with this, like um, the cat has to get through a maze um, to get to the finish line. You could put in like a, I don't know, a sort of checkered floor or something for the finish line. Um, black and white checkered floor. Uh, or it's entirely up to you what you can make with this. But you know, uh, it's yeah. So I'll well, that's about it. I will. See you in the next video. Please comment and subscribe and I will see you soon. Goodbye.